Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Today I'm doing another inspo shop with me video because you guys seem to really like the first one I did. So I'm going to continue along with this series. And today I'm bringing you along with me to Crate and Barrel. This store has high quality modern design home furnishings and I'm mostly going to be looking at office and desk inspiration. And just a disclaimer, this is not sponsored. I genuinely like walking through this store and I'm not promoting these products, but maybe you'll see something that you could DIY something similar and it's purely for inspiration. But if you see something you like, I will put the Crate and Barrel website in the video description below. And if you're looking for more DIY organization projects and workspace videos, I have have a whole playlist you can check out right here. I will also link that in the description below. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, tell me where you want to inspo shop next in the comments below, or I put a poll up here based on all of your guys' requests. You guys left so many in the last video, so I want you guys to vote for where we go next. All right, kick back, relax, grab your drink, grab your snacks, and let's go inspo shopping. It is November, so they have their holiday stuff all set up with lots of metallics, golds, and silvers. And I did spot some cool hollow pinecone ornaments along with some hollow pickles. To the sales section where they have a lot of Halloween stuff, I did spot some of these canisters, which I really like because they have bold typography on them. It looks like just the tea and the utensil ones were sale, but they did have others that had sugar on it and coffee and flour. This is a fun way to label something in a modern way, and you could DIY something similar. If you have a program that has type in it, I prefer Adobe, Illustrator, InDesign, or even Photoshop for this. But I know a lot of you don't have that, so if you just want to open like a Google Doc, you can find Helvetica New in that program. And in case you're like, what is Helvetica? It's a typeface, and you can find it a lot in the store, in the signage, in their logo, and I do have an appreciation for their use of Helvetica in all of their stuff. And type out whatever it is you want to label, like pens, pencils. You will have more control over letter spacing in the Adobe programs, but if you're not too worried about that, this is definitely an option. This is just an idea. If you want to print out a version, you could just print this out and cut a square around it and wrap it around something like a can. And that could be your own DIY version of the modern Helvetica canister. Some wall inspiration with a lot of frames that have a nice use of white space. They have these huge clips that actually hold a frame to the wall to look kind of like a clipboard. And I'm digging these frames with circle cutouts. I've been seeing lanterns a lot lately in home decor. You could put candles in here or really whatever you want. Here's some nice metal wine racks in different shapes. I would actually be using these for pens or pencils. All you have to do is put a cup in the wine holder and then your pens can lay horizontal. I have seen people make pen holders from a mug tree and they just put the pens in the mugs as they hang, but I would actually need this for my mugs because I have kind of a collection. They also have a lot of fun kitchen accessories. If you come across this sponge, go touch it. I don't know why, but it feels really cool. Like, forget fidget spinners, I think I'd rather play with this. Alright, now checking out the bottom floor, and what? They have a badminton set. In case you didn't know, I am a big fan of badminton, and I used to play it in high school. I was on the junior varsity team in high school. It looks like this set is for your backyard or outdoor accessories, and the price is a little bit high, but it does have birdies with real feathers, which in Badman is a legit birdie. Not sure if this is new to their store, but they do carry vintage LED light bulbs. A few years ago, I found it hard to find these, but now they seem to be more and more popular. More home or office decor inspiration. They have a lot of pine cones around because it still is fall industrial looking chandeliers and driftwood centerpieces. Again, if you're a fan of Helvetica and large type, they carry the Stendig calendar. If you want to make a statement on your wall, this is a really great oversized calendar. And when the month is over, you can rip off the sheet and save them for DIY projects. I had one about nine years ago and I put it in my room and I loved it. At the time, I had my Etsy shop going, and you know I love bookbinding, so I made a lot of book covers with these pages. I'm a big fan of big type, so I loved the composition they made on the covers. I made some for people who had a lucky number, or it was their birth date, or a special letter. I mostly did case-bound books and Coptic stitch binding with bright color pages. 
tell me how you would recycle these pages in the comments below. They also have really modern and minimal clocks, and you guessed it, they have one with Helvetica. That one is definitely my favorite, it's called the Reese Wall Clock. I hope this was fun to watch and maybe you got some inspiration from it. Hit that like button if you want to see more of these, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos, and be sure to hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I post a new video. And I will put more videos uh, around here. One will be the previous one that I did, inspo shopping at Ikea. You could go check that out right there, and I'll put more DIY home decor videos right over here. These links will be in the video description below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!